Oh man, it's that time again. We got a bunch of big Tears of the Kingdom news we need to get into. Today we have some brand new details on the game, some new merchandise, and more. I am so excited to get into this. Before we do though, I just want to remind you we do have a giveaway going on for uh, Zelda Tears of the Kingdom Switch OLED. Also giving away a collector's edition of the game along with <clears throat> a special Tears of the Kingdom pin. You can go ahead and enter down in the description and or the pinned comment. And now we're on a road to 133,000 subscribers. How many of you remember why it's that number? Now, let's dive into the news. And the first thing we have to do is go over some brand new information that dropped off of the official Zelda website. But we've got more after this. This is just the first set we're getting into. And here are things it says right on the English version of the website. It says, set out for an adventure and a transform and expanded Hyrule. Find new ways to explore, create, and discover on an epic journey fueled by your imagination. Just reminding you of some words, obviously, that IG Aonuma told us during the gameplay session. But there's more, because Link's journey begins on one of the many mysterious floating islands that has suddenly appeared in the skies above Hyrule. It's there our hero will have to gain new abilities before returning to the surface world to begin his epic adventure so we have our confirmation up right there on the official website that once we get character control of link we will begin the journey on a sky island not surprised by this but some people are so just throwing that out there now the sky isn't the only thing that's changed. Another quote off the website, In Hyrule, familiar locations have been dramatically transformed with new towns, dank caves, and mysterious gaping chasms springing up all across the world, all waiting to be explored. Then the website goes on to say this, Link must travel across the far-reaching land and skies of Hyrule to discover the origins of the mysterious gloom that is plaguing the kingdom. Very interesting. Gloom as in a feeling. Gloom as in something more. Again, it's mysterious. Now, there's one more quote we have to dive into, and this is about the ascendability on the website. It says, add a new dimension to your exploration with ascend, which gives Link the ability to pass through solid objects above him. Rise up through ceilings, hillsides, and even certain enemies to create impossible shortcuts, or seemingly impossible shortcuts. So some enemies will be able to use Ascend on. That's a new, brand new information, and we have not seen that happen yet. So that all makes me stupidly excited and is some amazing news. I'm really, oh, man, it, it's awesome. But we got to get to our second story here because we got like four different things we have to get into, maybe five. Uh, the second one is that Hori has unveiled brand new Tears of the Kingdom Switch accessories that just look awesome. One of them being one of those tabletop holders. Oh, man, does this look really good? A couple different Switch cases, which those are always pretty interesting, and then two different Hori split pads. Now, these split pads are some of the best Joy-Con replacements out there in general, so having some Tears of the Kingdom-themed ones are great. Unfortunately, they're only available in Japan at this time. No idea if they'll ever come to the U.S. Maybe if they appear on Amazon Japan, you can import them, but still, oh, man. Anyways, we got to advance to our next story here. Uh, we have some stuff from Splatoon 3 announced for a Zelda-themed Splatfest. Tears of the Kingdom-themed, especially, because here's what they say on Twitter. SLR here with huge news. The next Splatfest is a collab with The Legend of Zelda. In anticipation of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom, it asks a key question. Which do you seek? Power, wisdom, or courage? Join in at 5 p.m. Pacific on March 5th through 5 p.m. Pacific on March 7th. And that's not the only news. The SLR satellite has unearthed imaging of a special tri-color turf war stage in the Scorch Gorge area that's unique to this Splatfest. Unlike the nearby rock formations, the stage has an unusual triangular geometry. Reminds us of something. Also, they have Splatfest Zelda-themed t-shirts you can buy for a limited time as well. So really cool to see Nintendo just marketing Tears of the Kingdom through Splatoon 3. And folks, this is the weekend before the game comes out. So just a brilliant timing for a brand new Splatfest themed around Zelda. But we're not done. We got new images. Oh my gosh. Did you guys know? There'd be a brand new, never before seen images from Tears of the Kingdom. Are you ready for this? N Nintendo of Japan has decided to issue to stores a digital download code, right? A digital card that you can buy to download Tears of the Kingdom. 
Not a big deal, right? We have these in our stores. Except they put screenshots on the back of it that feature two never-before-seen images. Holy crud. Let's just kind of enhance as much as we can. It's going to be quite difficult. We don't have a high-quality scan of this, just some cell phone pics. But uh, as you can see here, we have one of them featuring the two new characters we saw before. The other one, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Is that Ganondorf? What is going on? Some new enemy with... I, I, I don't know what's happening. It looks crazy. It looks menacing. And I am stupidly, stupidly excited for what's happening with this game. But man, I did not expect to get new images revealed in this way. You figure they would release a batch of screenshots and then those screenshots would be what they include. But they put brand new images right here on a digital download card. That's awesome. Now, I did mention that we might have more than four stories, and that's because we have a fifth story to get into. It's a bit of a sillier one, but also pretty cool, especially if you happen to have children that are into this stuff. Uh, Tears of the Kingdom is now being featured on Lunchables. Pretty interesting. Uh, my kids actually still enjoy Lunchables here and there. In fact, I wouldn't say here and there. If I allow them, they just have them all the time, but we limit uh, how many Lunchables they can have. Uh, that being said, it does involve a Switch OLED giveaway, and it's a prize pack, in fact, that also happens to include a copy of Tears of the Kingdom. I think it says one in every 750 is a winner, but I don't, you know, I, I don't know how you really verify those numbers because you have to work for them. But still, it's kind of a neat little thing. But yeah, that's a really nice collection of news uh, we had for you guys today, just to get you guys fully updated. If you didn't see our video earlier today, we did do one on a new batch of rumors. Might be spoilers, might be entirely made up. So up to you if you really want to. We also have another video in the works right now where we're going to be taking a deeper look at a graphics comparison between Breath of the Wild and Tears of the Kingdom. Is Tears of the Kingdom actually significantly better and more detailed? Or is it really just more of Breath of the Wild? This is something that we will try to get into and show Tears of the Kingdom both in its best light, along with obviously some shots that maybe don't look the greatest. We need to be fair. I don't just want to... Pub it up and be like, it's the greatest looking thing ever. If there are certain shots that maybe don't look as impressive, we need to take it all into consideration. Just like we also need to consider that a lot of the footage we have is compressed by YouTube. That might not matter for most things. Really only affects resolution for the most part, but whatever. The point is we are going to be deep diving into that as well. That hopefully will be tomorrow's video. I think this is the last video we're going to do today. Now we might be streaming Breath of the Wild again on Master Mode tonight. You'll have to tune in and see if we decide to do that. If not today, it'll be tomorrow. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for helping us on our journey to 100,000 subscribers. It's It's been incredible, guys. Um, and I can't thank you enough. Catch you guys in the next video.